Hey guys, welcome back and hey to me new subscribers as well. Right, today we are doing why are they acting like a jerk? Simple as. Um, I've got two quite feminine decks, but one's a kind of more high priestess energy and one's more like an empress energy. So this is like the high priestess deck and this is the empress. You kind of got the light, darker deck and the lighter deck. I'll show you some of the pictures as well, just so you can kind of make your mind up. Again, we're going with the pictures today. Normally we just kind of go with the chakra energies, which is why I never really show you the pictures, but me guide's saying to show the pictures today. Pictures of deck number one. And pictures of deck number two, it's dead pretty. So all the more angelic people, you'll like this deck. This is called, what's this called? Ephoral Wisdom. And the other one is called, I've got so many decks, I never know what they're called. Tarot de la Nuit, my best French. Okay. So why are they acting like a jerk? Let's do this. Pick your deck. Deck number one, deck number two. So go with the imagery. Um, also go with your stomach chakras. We're going back to the stomach chakras. So if it sits in your energy with the pictures that you like, and if it sits in the energy with a pull from your solar plexus and your sacral, so two inches below your belly button, two inches above, wherever that kind of pull is taking you, either deck number one or deck number two, um, why are they acting like a jerk? Think about them as well. And being jerks. Try not to think about them being jerks. Okay, let's go. So as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, so it's regardless of kind of situations. You best have that one. That's a different deck sitting in there. And um, regardless of different situations, because um, it works on mutual energy. So all your energies, all your people's energies, and the strongest energy between you all. Can you get me into my collective deck number one? And can you get into their person's energy, please? Think about your person. Can you get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And can we pull out, thank you, the strongest mutual energy between everybody watching? Why is that person acting like a jerk? Interesting, you've got a different card from a different deck. I don't even know where that fairy tarot deck is. I've got like 20 decks in it, and I've got hot. 80 decks next door. Okay. So, can you tell me please, why is deck number one's people acting like jerks? Basically idiots. If they, if you are not, keep, not good on the English of it, it means idiots. Why are they acting like a jerk? Why is deck number one's people acting like jerks? Four, how many do you want? We're all following a strange melody. We're all swimming by a jet. We're following the piper. It's a song for you, Abba the Piper. That's always a classic. Um, kind of like you don't really know what's going on. That's a message in that for you. Kind of like you don't really know what's going on. Um, but you're just following spirit, being guided by spirit, following the piper, following his tune. Um, Abba, dead good one. Not many people know it. Um, but that's been really strong in my energy at the moment. So there you go, you start off with a song. Why are they acting like jerks? Multiple reasons within this deck. Some of them don't know what they want. Some of them are, again, got these kind of fears as always rising up. Some of them are scared of love. Um, again, I know at the moment I've been talking about it a lot, but a lot of um, the more divine relationships, energy has been coming up to be cleared. Um, about rejection or jealousy or those kind of needs and codependency issues are coming up quite a lot in twin flame energy specifically but also in all divine relationships that's coming up to be cleared at the moment so part of that if they're pushing you away is because they're repelling against that kind of energy um spirit i haven't even looked at your cards yet i'll just I keep telling you what they're saying spirit are talking about you like a pair of magnets so you know you kind of have that when you're attracting each other, you get really pulled towards each other, you know, and you, you can't kind of pull away, you're stuck at this magnet energy. And then something will happen, and one of your magnets will switch, and you're trying to, one of you is trying to push in towards you, and the other one's trying to pull away, and you start to repel each other. And that kind of energy of a magnet is coming through in deck one. That's just on an energetic level, what's happening on an energetic level, why they're acting like jerks. It's kind of that energy of the magnet. So keep that. Polar opposites, I've just heard. Um, keep that at the back of your mind. Your person has got a lot of feelings for you. Um, they're standing quite strongly in their masculine, heart-centred energy at the moment, and that scares the living crap out of them. Um, a lot of them have 
having these tower moments, realising how they feel about you, I know we spoke about this before, um, having these tower moments, realising how they feel about you, and they've kind of gone into self-protect, which is why this wood um, is kind of around this tower. They're trying to stop this tower from falling down. Once this tower falls, that's when they're going to have to give way to their emotions. So a lot of them are acting like jerks to self-preserve what they've got um, at this moment in time. So if you feel like nothing's happening, um, or you haven't heard from them, or if they're blowing hot and cold, a lot of them are trying to preserve their feelings um, and not open up. And again, the reason for that is because they don't want to go through these kind of fears of rejection, um, fears that they've kind of hurt you a lot, a lot of them have hurt you, um, and they're scared of kind of letting you back in because they don't want to do it again if they have this kind of magnet repelling thing going on um, and that's that's part of the energy that's part of why they're acting like a jerk doesn't feel like that is all of you in this deck i'll be honest there's a quite a few of you that that is relating to um but that is not a whole pile of you so if that doesn't resonate just remember it because it will come up my guide is saying um the another reason why they're acting like jerks is because they're feeling very heavily burdened by life life is kind of getting to them um they're standing in this very strong passionate energy now a lot of them um act very very immature my guide is saying um they have this masculine bravado um Remember, never gender specific or sexually orientated, but they have just shown me a physical man in this. Um, but again, never gender specific. But there is some kind of a bravado rather than masculine bravado. That's probably my slip of a tongue. Um, there is a bravado going on with them about how they want to be perceived to the outside world and how um, a lot of them are getting peer pressure from their friends and they're acting up on that um, some of them are just really uncertain about what they want but there is this kind of fire burning within them and this fire they don't really know how to control now I always say to people when you kind of go into a divine relationship it's a choice to start living with your soul on fire and this is the kind of energy that is coming through on this they've started to realize that their soul is kind of calling them and is on fire and they're like they have nowhere to turn at this moment in time so the thing that they do is kind of turn backwards turn away magnet back to the magnet i wish i had some magnets to show you but you understand back to the magnet energy repelling um they're trying to go through it alone at the moment which is why the nine of pentacles has jumped out here they know at the end of the day that they could have this stable unit with you they could have stable families some of you uh, there are children involved in this process which complicates it whether it's your children whether it's their children uh, children do complicate this process um, and they're trying to do what's right for the children i'm hearing some of them not all of them and you're trying to do what's right for your children as well um, at this moment in time, they're trying to go it alone in their own mentality to work out what it is that they actually want. Um, and again, that comes back to kind of pushing you away or blowing hot and cold or not communicating or even if they're giving you a little bit and then withdrawing a little bit, then withdrawing. It's that same kind of energy. They're trying to work through everything that's going on. So to begin with, you've got them. They're, they're protecting their emotions, protecting their heart because they don't want to be hurt again. Don't want to hurt you again. Um, soul is on fire and they don't really know what to do about the energy and trying to go it alone, knowing that they want this kind of family unit, but don't really know how to go about it. So that is why they're kind of behaving the way they are. Some of them I've just heard have been a little bit, I heard of uh, swear word then I'm not going to use that um, some of them have been quite more than idiotic I think is the right way to say arseholes some of them have been a complete and utter arseholes to you um, and because of that again they're kind of scared of how if they, you're not in contact how they can make those moves back towards you because they don't really know what the right thing to say is or what the right thing to do is um, they will come in with actions rather than words so make sure you're paying attention to them if you suddenly see like something on your social media where they've liked a picture or, or they've tried to reach out like um, without actually communicating so sorry if they've liked a picture on social media or if you're on Instagram and you're seeing the like in the stories, whatever it is, if they haven't actually physically communicated with you, those little underlying actions are going to start coming forward in the next couple of months, this month to March, Spirit is saying. Um, they are seeing you now more in your divine power and this also scares them because they suddenly have nowhere to run. You know, loving an awakened person is, uh, again, living with your soul on fire, making that choice to live with your soul on fire. And a lot of them aren't quite sure how to go around that. She reminds me of Daenerys Targaryen, if you like Game of Thrones. Um, so they can see that you are really, really strong in your energy at the moment. Again, never gender specific, sexually orientated. But you are strong in your power and because of that, that also scares them and it gets back to that bloody magnet again that keeps showing me this magnet, repelling. Um, 
a lot of them I've just they've just shown me a clairvoyant image of um reading tea leaves so you know when you put your tea leaves in the pot and pour the tea on and you watch where the tea leaves go a lot of them are trying to actually work out it's a metaphor it doesn't mean they're reading tea leaves a lot of them are trying to actually work out what they're meant to be doing at this moment in time and they're seeing little snapshots of things so they'll see a symbol or, or they'll see a sign and they'll see a bit of this and they'll see a bit of that that's reflecting on you as well but they're trying to add these little symbols and signs together to kind of seek an answer. Now, because most of them aren't spiritually open or spiritually tapped in, tuned in or turned on, they might be open-minded, but they're not tapped in. They don't really understand the bigger picture. And they're trying to get these little snapshots of these tea leaves into work making this jigsaw piece, and they don't know what to do about it. So they've got all these kind of disjointed, disaligned elements that are trying to merge together, and it's having this magnet again. So your reason why they're acting like a jerk is because it's a magnetic frequency, magnetic. Whichever way you look about it, it keeps coming back to magnets. You've got the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. They will work through their shit and they will make, make moves towards you. Um, they're not going to be planning what it is they want. They're trying to see it. They're trying to get the pieces together. But even with the pieces together, they can't plan anything because they're trying to work it all out at the moment. A lot of them don't actually know what they want. They know how they feel, but they don't know how to act on it. Um, and again, that's why they repel you away. They don't want to give you false hope. They don't want to lead you on. They don't want to um, upset you, kind of, even though they have. They don't want to upset you more than what they have already. Um, so again, they'll repel you. So it's quite a multitude of different reasons in this deck why they are acting the way they are acting, why they are being jerks. Um, a lot of them as well, if you've been having arguments and tempers rising, it's because they don't know what to do with this soul energy, this soul fire. Um, they don't know how to handle it. And it's almost like sometimes we can throw fireballs of energy at people, can't we? You know, without even meaning to. And it comes, sometimes it can come through as kind of like an aggression or anger or temper. I always get irritable. I get quite irritable. And I kind of can feel these fires building up within me as if I'm about to kind of explode um, when I get irritable. And I have to go and get myself into a meditative state to calm down. Otherwise, it's going to end up with these two soul energies big explosions, hurricane, tornado. So if that has been happening, it's again, it's basically more to do with energy rather than circumstances. Yes, your circumstances aren't easy. Yes, you're all in different circumstances. But if they're trying to put the pieces together and they don't really know what to do about it and the soul's kind of pulling them one way, they're trying to fight it, they're getting angry and then you are, they always, you always hurt the ones you love the most. Bang. So that's another reason why they're acting like a jerk. Um, they are just going to go with the flow of the situation, try not to think too far into the future. Um, they're also panicking a little bit that there's stuff that they haven't told you. Um, now a lot of this will be to do with what I've already mentioned, all of this kind of stuff, because they, they won't know how to express, oh my soul's on fire and I don't know why I push you away and I don't know this and I don't know that. They won't be able to express that to you. But they feel that there's stuff that they do need to talk to you about, but they just don't know how. The protecting of emotions is one side of things. They're not ready to say to you, oh, I've been really hurt. I'm scared of getting hurt again. And I'm scared of hurting you again. Because they're not very good at communicating how they feel as a whole. So again, that's why they push you away or act the way they act. Being jerks because this is they just don't know how to handle the energy as a whole. Now, there are earthly reasons as well. There is, like I said, that, um, that kind of, well... Earthly and spiritual, they kind of mould into one. That angers, tempers, things like that rising up to the surface. Yes, it is coming from an energy frequency, but it reflects down onto an earthly level how they handle you. Um, also, there seems to be a bit of jealousy and trust issues. Now, that predominantly feels... I was going to say more your side, but actually it does feel to be on... E uh, they have actually got a little bit more um, jealousy and issues with that around you but they can't express that to you so a lot of them might feel like they're trying to control you um, or trying to make you see things their way or they'll come towards you give you a little bit and then again take it away because they're trying to learn to control the situation kind of control what's going on they have no control of this situation whatsoever so by putting an element of control in it jealousy is kind of this this green-eyed monster which makes them realize how they feel and then they come to you try to control that try to tell you well they probably don't tell you what to do but some of them will do because some of them are narcissists um try and put that control around you 
and again it comes comes back to jealousy so that's coming through on an earthly level and um, it's because they, the jealousy is happening is because they haven't got what they want but they're too scared to kind of do anything about it and it is more jealousy than envy okay so jealousy is is predominant in this deck as well and so that's another reason why they're acting like jerks but they can't tell you why and um, they're going to be making moves towards you eight of wands and the eight of pentacles are really really good cards watch out for 888 um as a frequency uh or 88.8 .8, my guide has just said there's a frequency coming through in the next couple of weeks of the 88.8 .8. and through that spirit is saying that's me dog making that noise by the way um through that spirit are saying um that this is kind of the um infinity symbol slitched to the side so the 888 is going to be you'll start seeing it in the next few weeks and it's showing that, that things are happening more on a universal level to do with you and your person okay so the infinity sign is going to be merging your helixes are coming back round so at the moment if you're feeling like you're going like this you're going to come back in and helix it again okay um and that's basically it but they, they will come back towards you you're going to have a chance for a new beginning if you want it it's gonna be down to you so we've got hiding from our emotions we've got trying to go it alone issues with kids issues with themselves and uh, seeing you standing really strong living with their soul on fire making these moves towards you um uncertainty not wanting to have plan a future just wanting to go with the flow of it because they're scared scared of how you will really feel if you communicate with them if they communicate with you what's actually going on in their head and their heart and then once realizing that they want this whole family unit and things like you but they don't know how to go about it and they're trying to read their own tea leaves trying to get the, the structure to it and adding two and two and making about three and that is why they're acting like a jerk so multitude of reasons for deck number one lots of different reasons going on there um hopefully you held on to your knickers for that because that was really really quick um but it is it's a lot of self-protecting and because you're doing much better yes you're emotional yes you're up and down yes you're riding a roller coaster but they can feel this energy is much more uh, you're feeling much more stable on an energetic level so you and them are just magnets you're trying to come together and the times you, you link in and you're kind of like, oh, yeah, 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 it's cool. And then you, other times one of you will switch the other way and you can't meet, repel. And it's energy levels. On the lower freq uh, on the higher frequencies, it's energy levels. Think of magnets. Um, but it, it will come back round. The majority of you, it's coming back round. Um, Jerk-like behaviour, it will carry on. It will carry on. It will get a bit easier for you. For some of you, it will get a bit easier. Um, but unfortunately, they're not just going to change overnight and you can't expect anyone to change. I always say that to people. Do not expect anyone to change because you should always trust that they are the person that they that they were when you met them, not who you want them to be and how you want them to be. They will always be that initial person and that is what you need to trust in. Not having trust in them, not having trust in the process, not having trust that they're not going to cheat. Trust in that they are the original person that you first met. And if you trust in that, then you take away all the expectation, all the intense energies, and you just focus on the pure essence of love. Okay, deck number one, job done. Okay, number two, 18. God, I was talking for ages. Huh? Can you get me into my collective energy of deck number two, please? I haven't used these yet, so you are my, my guinea pigs. Got all sorts of songs going around then i was trying to, to i see so how it work how i work is i work i work with frequency because of my Claire audience and um sometimes with one is in one frequency and the other is in another frequency and if it is like a radio darling you know like someone kind of um when you're searching through the channels trying to get something that just happens so i've heard like loads of different songs all in one go for you but it didn't settle on anything it will do in a second Okay, we've got, we're having an ABBA theme today. We've got Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. Gimme, 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 you man after midnight. I don't know why we've got that, because I don't know the lyrics. Um, Spirit's saying it's to do with manifesting. Make sure you're manifesting what you want, not what you don't want. Um, if you are focusing on them acting like a jerk, deck number two, then you are manifesting them acting like a jerk. And I know that's hard because you're pissed off, angry and annoyed at them and think they're absolute arseholes, etc, etc, etc. But if you're focusing on that energy, we kind of manifest more of what we don't want. Um, so try to 
release it. Lots of releasing meditations, uh, lots of deep breathing. Getting some uh, crystals for your chakras will benefit you as well, Spirit is saying. You could also, uh, can you, yeah, sorry. You can also um, write down a list of, of what you need to release and you can burn that as well. Have a look at releasing fear rituals, etc., etc., depending on your beliefs. Right, can you think about your piercing? Can you get into that collective energy? So, as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Okay. Thoughts, feelings, energy. Okay. Can you tell me, please, why are the people watching as people acting like jerks? Why are the collective people acting like jerks? Well, do. Why are they acting like jerks? First time I've used this one. Three, four, we'll do ten like we did with deck number one. Five. Why are they acting like jerks? Four, one, two, three. Lovely. Four. One more, please. Two more. Okay, what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. Let's have a look. So, a lot of you within this situation, um, your person feels that it has kind of come to a close or it is coming to a close. You're feeling at the end of your tether um, and it's kind of feeling, you, or both of you are kind of feeling either that it's the end of the chapter or the chapter is coming to an end and you're not really sure what's actually going on. Um, so you've got death and the, you did have death. You've got death and the eight of cups. So a lot of this as well coming back down to fear. Um, if you haven't actually, if this hasn't happened yet, please try to take your focus off it um because you will manifest it the other side of this is spirit saying it's sometimes it, it is worth walking away from the things you love if you love yourself more which i know is hard for a lot of you to hear um but it kind of a lot of if you're on a more divine relationship a lot of the lessons that kind of come from that are this balancing of the yin and yang energies now if your person is acting like a jerk um and you're kind of assessing what it is that you want to do about the situation the outcome of whatever's going on in your life will still be the same with your person whether you walk away whether you stay put the universe will align it if it is meant to be but you need to kind of focus on remember fo love is unconditional and that is the the predominant lesson of the more divine relationships why we're here so this energy that's coming through is talking about your self-love and if you're fearing that you're going to lose them forever and if you're fearing that it's not going to work and you're fearing that um if you walk away you're never going to get them back etc etc these fears can start manifesting so you lot really got to get yourself in check in the nicest way possible about what you actually want okay because you're focusing a lot on what you don't want and that then in turn is coming into fruition so please be careful of that so that's the part number one. Second part is like obviously again if they're acting like jerks you're kind of manifesting that as well not all self-blame on you thirdly it's about you and the self-love process so on a divine level there is uh, stuff going on here that they are acting like jerks to help you realize your self-love process and what's going on there like getting your self-love up is it worth staying is it worth leaving what is it that you want to do who do you love more yada 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 and it's really really tough it's awful i know it, i know it's shit um you know i've gone through many a breakup with me divine count of counterpart many a time um but it kind of gets to that stage when you think well actually you know what am i ready to kind of carry on with you being a jerk or am i ready to kind of move this process forward and focus on myself and do my self-love and my self-love kind of kicks in now this can't happen until you feel ready and i'm not saying it's going to happen with every single one of you either but it is an awareness of it. Whether it comes into fruition or not is completely different, but it's that energy coming forward as the self-love process um, as to why they are acting a little bit like jerks because on a divine purpose, you're focusing on, you need to focus that energy back to love. Love for yourself. Love for them will follow after. 
Okay, so that on a spiritual level, that could be a lot of the reasons why they're acting like idiots, which is probably not what you wanted, wanted to hear, so I do apologise, but I always tell you it's not what you need to know, it, no, it's not what you want to know, it's what you need to know. So your person as a whole is feeling quite bogged down by everything at the moment, feeling quite bogged down by emotions, they have got a weight, they feel like they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders, and they're stuck now trying to make a choice about something, and they don't really know which way to go about it. Now that is a choice with regard to you. One side of them they can see that it could work and they could be really really happy and things could move forward and on the other side of things they have this kind of nightmare fears rising up to the surface what's actually going to happen what should I do if I get my happy endings how's it actually going to work out with them I, is anything going to change are we going to carry on being at each other's throats or am I going to carry on being an idiot um feeling like there's at points of blame they feel as if again kind of that blame energy from the last reading coming forward they're pointing the finger of blame at you you're then pointing the finger of blame at them and they start repelling that energy as well um but on one side of it, they can see that you and them could be really, really happy. But on the other side, the polar opposite side of that is these kind of nightmares of what if it doesn't work? What if I'm running before I can walk? Um, and that's why this is a slow moving, slow moving reading. Heavily burdened. A lot of reasons why they're heavily burdened. Mainly, that was really muttered. A lot of reasons why they're heavily burdened. Mainly because of their emotions. Um, because they want to be able to give you what you want but then the head kicks in um, and they have this kind of urge this fight or flight mode comes in when something kicks off or something doesn't feel right they go into fight or flight mode and that is another reason why they're acting like jerks because they'll either come in and you'll have a big argument or they'll walk away or go quiet on you or etc etc and um, so they're acting like jerks for that reason as well because they can't really work out what they want there's also a lot of people influence in this situation because you've got the Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups and the Emperor. So one side of this you have a lot of people influencing it. On the other side of things is you two at this moment in time wanting different things. You're trying to protect your heart, they're trying to just protect themselves and there's this kind of clash of energies going on here. Um, they can see that you want all this stability and everything like that and they aren't quite ready to give that to you. What they want from you, they're also... Um, they want this kind of nice relationship, but they also want it on their terms. And because of that, again, that's that mix up of energy going on here. So you've got two kind of ways of seeing it, but you're both seeing it like you both want the same thing, but you want it differently. If that makes sense to you, uh, read the five love languages. That's a key example of one of um, of of how this is going. So five love languages talks about, I can't remember who it's by, but it talks about how we love people in the way that we want to be loved rather than how they need to be loved in the way that they need to be loved. And that is this kind of clash of energy. On the other side of it, you've got the Emperor and the Queen of Cups. So they are, again, in divine power. You're feeling in your emotional side of things. You're, you are acting a lot on emotions at the moment. Try to withdraw a little bit from that if you don't want this to prolong like if you don't want it yeah if you don't want this to prolong try and withdraw from your emotions a little bit and act on um your intuition rather than your emotions um a lot of you are getting clairvoyant images um and you are miscalculating them as your imagination so if you ever see a lot of times clairvoyant images can come as really quick flashes rather than you seeing it physically i get a lot of flashes of images um and sometimes if you're not tuned into it, you will think that is your imagination. So a good way of going about this, this is one of the things I, I teach, is if you want to know what's imagination and what's clairvoyance, uh, put a white light around you, protect yourself, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then think about a rainbow. And if you shut your eyes and see in your vision where this rainbow is, okay and then ask one of your guys your main guy to step into your energy and show you a rainbow now clairvoyantly you will see it in a different position from when you imagined it you can try it with anything you can try it with i don't know any kind of imagery that you want rings or tarot cards anything but to just kind of see where this energy is lying you know what's clairvoyant and what's imagination because a lot of you are discounting this clairvoyant image as imagination okay so when you are also seeing a lot of clairvoyant images as well um, and they seem to be of the future a lot of the times that is because you are manifesting that outcome so if that's if you're seeing a clairvoyant image and it's something that you don't want you need to rejig your thought process back to what you do want and if it is something that you do want then you just try and forget it let it go so it can come into fruition okay um you've also got the star being on the right path 
Um, so the reason why they're acting like jerks, there's, there's different reasons within this deck again, like deck number one. Death Eight of Cups, a lot of you are manifesting fear, manifesting jerks, they're man, yeah. So a lot of you are manifesting them being a jerk and that's getting worse. A lot of them, you are manifesting the outcome of it by accident and that's kind of happening as well. Now that's not all of you, but that's quite a lot of you. So release those fears. Then you've got the side of it where self-love is key to this relationship. So on a spiritual level, they're acting like jerks because you're trying to be learning your lesson of self-love. Then you've got a lot of people influencing the situation. You've got seeing things in different ways, but wanting the same things. You've got fears of the future, but actually what they want, um, but two polar opposites of what actually happens when they get it. It's kind of like they've got this fear of the grass is greener on the other side. They've got that going on. Um, heavily burdened by choices and decisions they want to make. They, they kind of want all the answers set out in front of them. So they're trying to not think on it and pull away from their emotions the emotions are what are heavily burdening them so they withdraw from situations because of that um indecision not making these choices um spiritual relationships empress <coughs> queen of cups acting on emotions um and it's not it's i'm not saying you are the reason why they're acting like jerks but obviously it takes two hands to clap but that's that's not what spirit are saying um but if you want to know why they're acting like jerks this is this is why and on an energetic frequency you kind of don't know that you're doing it pay attention to clairvoyant images pay attention to what you're getting and it'll be all right star moving it forward um they do know how they feel about you and that is what scares them that is what really does frighten them. Um, now, please don't stress about this death and the eight of cups because these, a lot of the times, if you're not in contact or it, the chapters come to an end or and it's closed, it has to happen for a new beginning to start. And this is why with the eight of cups, he's looking towards the moon because moon symbolise new beginnings, full moon symbolise new beginnings. Yes, it's a journey. Yes, it's a, a pathway that you've got to kind of find, find your inner tranquil peace. Inner tranquil peace? That's what we just said. And you might feel like it's all too much for you at the moment, but you... Sorry guys, my phone cut out on the last minute or two then. Um, so I, I made um, a linking video because I've got good at technology, a little bit better at technology. Um, so yeah, the spirit is saying that you're doing really, really well. You know, despite all these adversities, despite what you're going through, despite how hard it is, um, they're really proud of you as a whole and how well you are doing. Um, so keep your faith, keep Keep an element of hope as well. Try to release expectation. Lift the being jerks, let them get on with it. Let them get on with it. Focus on yourself. That's key to self-love and things moving forward. Okay, so if you want to book a private reading, uh, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. If you want to find me on Instagram, it's just mysticlovetarot. Uh, and I'm sure that's it. All right, guys, let's love. Bye.